So before I forget, the great news is that we're through to the second half of the UK Blog Awards and 40% of our marks will depend on the amount of votes we get. So please, can you vote for us? There'll be a link underneath in the description and also information on how to vote for us. Thanks. As deep as the sea No matter how rough Things may come to be You and me We're family Sing home Hey, long for the ride Home Hey, I'll stay by your side Home Hey, you'll always be Alright By me Yes, you are of Ibiza can be really expensive and that makes a problem of getting water and fuel but there is an option in San Antonio where you can go to the marina and you pay by the minute really and you, you can fill out your boat you can go and get extra gas and fuel and um, you have to do it as quick as possible so we were doing this we would turn up at the dock we'd book the lowest possible time which was 30 minutes we'd fill the water up we'd scrub the decks we would take the recycling and we'd even shower the family all in 30 minutes. Okay, so we've got on this dock for 15 minutes, no, 30 minutes to refill with water and scrub the decks as hard as we can using the water that they have available here. Busy, busy, everyone is very busy. And then we're gonna get evicted. 10 minutes, 10 minutes. Scrub, scrub, scrub. We've got to leave this dock. Go, Alex, go. <laughs> yeah, scrub it harder. <laughs> which will obviously accumulate on a boat even if it's just sat at anchor. That's been like two days, isn't it? And that is all the stuff like um, organic waste. So we have do our last provisioning before we head around the island. This is nice, it's cool and um, it's massive. So I hope it doesn't take too long trying to get round. We have got some very special friends and family coming out to visit. Are you boys going to be in charge of the boat? Yeah. No. We've got Captain Ewan and Captain Jacob. Where are we going, Jacob? Going somewhere around here. Great. Think about it today. We've got new, new crew, and they're going to help drive the boat. Go in a bit, Ewan. <laughs> Where are we going, Woody? Um.
you got some new books? I finished them. Finished them already? You really bought them yesterday. Have you had this book on tax though? Really cool. cool. I think Rome should read it. As usual, that yet another thing is broken down on the boat, and you know usually we just deal with it. But this time, it's a real shame because my brother's come out, and you know his little boy, and we've been waiting months for this day, and we were going to go around the islands, and we all got provisioned up and all ready. And first day out, the generator stopped charging, so we had to come back, and we had to spend the whole day looking for an engineer. The ones you find are usually ones in the brochures; they're usually really expensive. Um, and so it's more money, it's just money just thrown at people to try and solve little problems that we don't know how to solve because electrics just isn't our thing. So they're kind of babysitting while we're doing it. I mean, maybe it sounds worse than it is, we're in a beautiful place, but it's just a shame we couldn't just go off sailing with them, which is what we've been planning for since Christmas, actually. Yeah, it's a real shame. generator isn't working so we've got no way of charging the batteries up so we keep having to go backwards and forwards to this anchorage and a nice uh, high throttle to try and get the, uh, the batteries charged and then back again tomorrow morning to charge them again because if you run the engine at too low a rev then uh, it's not so good for the diesel engine because it starts to build up carbon deposits. San Antonio we haven't managed to leave yet because um, we're still trying to sort out the engineers um, so we went out with one today the first day we went to find one today we met up with one and tomorrow we're gonna see him again and he's gonna see we can see what the problem is again so um, not really getting very far in Ibiza at the moment uh, got a very long story short uh, the battery charger is goosed and needs sending back to the manufacturer which is master Vault. So we now need to be charging the batteries up with the engine and with the prop gen only, which is a bit unfortunate because we're at anchor most of the time while we're here. So it just means a bit more clever battery management over the next few weeks until we can get it sorted. So we finally headed up the coast um, towards Benares Bay. It's a lovely bay, they do drumming every evening on the beach. They do yoga on the beach. There's some nice cafes and restaurants. Hey, monkey boy. Oh, 
So we're having an actual party for the kids' birthday. We had a small birthday celebration in Tunisia and now we've got uncle here and nephew and aunt so we thought that a little party, the kids really want to have a party so I'm making coleslaw and salads and stuff. I've made a cake which has got to be covered and we're having a barbecue. Um, Alex had her birthday a couple of days ago so we're going to combine it with hers, our crew member. So that's what's happening today. Oh, oh, do you think I get um, Uncle Jim Hayes' spicy? Do you think I'm, I'm a dog? Do you think I'm a dog? Hi, Abby. Granddad. Show and you what you've got. got. A really cute dog from Abby. Um, Guy, Diesel, Lucy, Uncle Jason, Aunt Catherine. And I got one from um, Granddad um, with another um, pin of yours. And it says, Dari, have a great day and have a treat from Granddad. Dari sitting down at the end. Oh, sit at the other end. Next to Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Hey! Follow, 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 follow. Lego. Ah! It's up two. No, I'm free. Clickbait. Oh my Clickbait. 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 Click
So we continued our journey down the east coast of Ibiza this time, down to one of the only sheltered bays really, called Carla Longa. We're just coming into Carla Longa, which is on the east side of Ibiza. So this is a very sheltered anchorage. Um, it's the only really sheltered anchorage on the east side, so we thought it was worth having a look. Inspired by Uncle John, jumping off rocks became the kids' favourite sport. <laughs> really high and a little bit scary. everybody. Tea time! <laughs> so our final stop down the east coast was um, an anchorage near Ibiza town called Talamanca. Talamanca is a good place if you're picking up people from an airport and dropping them off. We're trying to find sandy patches to put the anchor in because if we put it on the Posodonia plant we might get moved on but I don't know whether they're that bothered in this bay because there's a lot of boats here and I'm sure they're all touching the weed at some point. What do you reckon John? Another campsite isn't it? <laughs> So this is Cala Talamanca, which is next to Ibiza. So this is the nearest place probably to the airport um, that we thought we'd stay here and do a switch over because Uncle John and Helga and Jacob are going tomorrow and Heidi arrives today. So this is like a good spot. That's the old town up there actually. We also had a day to explore Ibiza town and exercise our legs a bit.
and once we're in Ibiza town, um, it was a rare treat as well to go and eat on shore. We're at Ibiza, looking for a cafe to eat at. managed to walk all the way from round the harbour and up into the old part of Ibiza town which is really pretty compared to the rest of it. Um, it reminds me of Malta a little bit actually the way it's sort of quite high and you know it's a walled sort of city and you can see all the rooftops and there's quite a lot of super yachts out there with their kind of radars going and all their equipment because our battery charge is not working, we're, we're kind of managing by not having any lights on at night. So you can come to these places kind of on a budget or you can do it the way they do it with their massive yacht to these amazing marinas. But every day we move to a different bay, we run our engine and that charges up the batteries to 100% again. And that's sort of working fine. So we've just got to keep going around this island um, until we sort our solar panels out. But that's yeah another big job in itself, really. So if we're going probably over about five knots at least, uh, we don't need to have the engine on at all and our prop gen just charges it all up so that's quite good it's it's quite good actually just living like that quite simply for a while not constantly putting the generator on and i'm just trying to find places where they sell ice as well which helps but yeah we're kind of living off our very low power at the moment it's, it's doing just fine <laughs> So we picked up my friend Heidi and we also got some more petrol for the dinghy. The dinghy dock itself is, was quite busy really, considering how many boats were anchored in this bay, it's quite tricky trying to find a spot on this very busy dinghy dock. So with um, my brother leaving and my friend arriving, there was an overlap on the boat. So that night we had 11 people sleeping on our boats. It was sad to say goodbye to Uncle John um, and sad to see him fly back to England. out and her kids so we've been around the whole north of the island and now we're going around the south we're going to go to Formentura when the when the wind changes direction but we found this fantastic um, bay in this beautiful national park it's really beautiful I can't wait to get in because I'm so hot So in the um, Balearic Islands, you have to be really careful about where you anchor because they're very careful about the posidinia, which is the plant that grows on the seabed. They'll often come round and they'll check and they will make you move, even if your chain is touching the edge of it. 
the wind's changed and our anchor's swung around 180 degrees, which means some of the chain is now lying, lying over the Pasadonia, which is the seaweed. So basically what's going on is the lady, the police, are saying that our um, anchor is too close to special seaweed, so basically we have to move it. She wants us to move further down there. This time when we re-anchored, we were really careful about getting it just right. Um, if you can't see it, you can actually dive down to doubly check because we didn't want to move our anchor again that night. So when you go down and you check, you often encounter other problems. And this time we found that our chain had wrapped itself around uh, a rock so that had to be removed and um, laid out straight. We also found that um, there were some chips that had come off the anti-fouling um, on the hull of our boat. Um, I think that had been caused when the boat had been put back in the water in the strops when we are in Tunisia. I don't know how I'm going to sort that problem out really. So as we're doing these things, we find that the kids are copying us and watching us and trying to do it themselves. So we found that Darry has slowly been training himself to go deeper and deeper. Um, so now he can actually go as deep as us when he dives down, because I think he really, really wants to be able to do those kind of jobs. And then obviously as big brother does it, little brother is copying him and now he's even trying to do it. So they are getting definitely better at their swimming and their diving. When we're in a place where we're safe, they know um, where the boat is, they can go off on their own adventures. And so off they go and they make sure they've got all the equipment they need. And, um, and yeah, they go off and it is kind of feels like you're taking a risk sometimes um, because you're leaving them, they're out of your sight. And we don't often do that back in England. It's great, they just tied it all up together. You know, you take risks and sometimes things go right and sometimes things do go wrong as well, but you have to learn to deal with the consequences. You know, one of those things that happened was, you know, Rowan got stung by a jellyfish, but, you know, she's lived through that experience. Ow, look at this. So this jellyfish managed to get Rowan on the leg, even though she was on the paddleboard. So what have we done with it? Vinegar. Vinegar. Did that help it a bit, do you think? Good. So the other thing, apart from giving the children more independence and freedom, we also like to try and get them involved with as much cooking as possible. And when they're doing that, yeah, they have to learn about the dangers and how to keep cooking safe. We passed um, south through the Cardinal Markers. Formentera is actually the fourth Balearic island. As we go on a small passage, the kids get back into amusing themselves. They've got no school, so they're relaxing. And of course, um, a mother's job is never done. Sometimes I feel like it's a very traditional relationship. I've been making cake in the galley, and now I'm polishing the woodwork, like this. The other thing we noticed was that there were super yachts everywhere. They all seemed to be heading to this place to find this beautiful island of paradise. But we, I mean, it is an amazing place, but we're also quite curious as to who is on these massive yachts. And we find ourselves looking at them all the time. Woody, do you think you'd be happier in that boat? How yeah. do you manage your batteries? Pay somebody to manage them. Pay someone, yeah. You see, I'm quite happy that we're managing to keep our fridge going. 
um, without running our engine too much. You know what, aren't you supposed to borrow milk off your neighbours if you run out? They might have a, a Yeah, we go and sugar. ask if they've got a cup of sugar. <laughs> That's what neighbours do, isn't it? And they've got staff and everything. But you know what? We're quite happy, aren't we? This is um, Formentera, um, which is kind of right on the southern tip of Ibiza. And we've heard a lot about it and it's completely different to Ibiza because Ibiza's got all the mountainous and it's green and beautiful. But this is this fantastic, it's a sandy beach all the way down, miles of it, and turquoise water. So we're definitely staying here a couple of nights. What do you think, Heidi? Yeah, beautiful. We've got to the south side of Formentera and um, I think we hope this is going to be sheltered from the north um, westerly winds that are forecast. But yeah, this is where I think we're going to stay tonight. Okay. Uh, right now we're at Formentora and it's a place you can't get by plane, you can only get here by boat. Oh. Sorry. <laughs> Luckily, when we're down in Formentera, we um, found a shop because we had to reprovision. Because with only using one fridge at the moment, um, we can't store so much food. Beautiful place, beautiful sunset. It smells nice. Friday nights is pizza and film night. It's a lovely time to get together, watch a movie, and eat some nice homemade pizza with some delicious salads and just chill out together as a family. So we're running quite low on water now and we don't really want to get the water maker going in case it breaks down like everything else. Um, as we've not been using our water maker yet, we have to be really careful with water and being somewhere like Formentera, there's absolutely nowhere that you can fill up. So we have to be um, really careful with it. The water that we use for showering goes in that bucket and we rinse out all our snorkels to make them last a bit longer. And then um, I just realized that we, could, we may as well rinse our dinner plates and stuff in it as well but I think that maybe is the final use of this water so it's been used how many times shower shower swimming stuff snorkels and masks rinsing up that's four uses we obviously do rinse and wash with fresh water at the end but we just use less of it just in case you thought we didn't and do you think they're doing that on that yacht over there beyond beyond, they, they, beyond your dreams beyond your wildest yeah. dreams So we're slowly hopping back to San Antonio on the west side. We're just passing these two islands up here, which is um, Kala Vedra and Kala Vedranel and you have to pass, um, it says a course of 305 degrees directly in the middle so hopefully we're on the right course. But yeah, last stop to Kala Tarida before we go back to San Antonio. Beautiful um, cliff face though and rock formations, really amazing. So it's Heidi's last night and um, we really wanted to go out. I mean, me and Heidi go back a long way. I remember um, learning actually to sail around Ibiza Island and I remember all the dance parties and the dance music. And um, yeah, just we wanted to get on shore and see if we could just have a little experience of that. Time. 
So sadly, it was time for Heidi and her children to leave and time to say goodbye, maybe till next year. Amber's not down to the brown, she's very busy. <laughs> cream on their back. I never get that. You know, I've never had that the whole time I've been sailing and married. But you're just whinger, aren't you? Typical whinging pom. I wouldn't whinge if I was treated like that if I got a big sandwich every day and like two cups of tea. You don't know. appreciate your women, then they just give up on you. Oh, this, this is going behind the lens, this is. <laughs> Won't stop being a... Stop being an idiot. Right, Ron just made this video really bad. No! Oh, you're not! <laughs> For a little drink on the beach on the paddleboard which is quite funny didn't get any of that opportunity didn't get any of that opportunity so i'm just sort of blabbing on really 40 percent of the 40 percent of what 40 percent of the marks are 40 percent of the mark she's a little santa motto don't forget the ketchup goodbye you and me we're family no matter how far away we've grown to be, we travel on to unknown destinies, but you and me will still be family. Thanks again for watching these video blogs and keep sharing them, keep getting notified for when the next ones are coming out. And also thanks to our patrons for um, supporting us and making the creation of these videos possible. And finally, don't forget to vote for us for the UK Blog Awards. Thanks. And if you want to do it, do it. Oh, hey, I'll stay by your side. Oh, hey, you'll always be.